Hi, homies. This is another installment of Pink Shorts for Shizzle. Yeah, you know we like to ride dirty around here. I got the boat all drying out. It got super duper soaked the other day. But I got a kind of a cool video for you. And, and by popular demand, I brought you back Swimsuit Girl. So we got Swimsuit Girl in this video. But we're gonna do something. There's a lot of baits that are like really stupid. Like, and if you like dumb baits, <laughs> you're gonna like this video. Because there's one bait that I think is really dumb. And I say dumb in like a, a very charitable kind of loving manner. And it's a jig, like it's, it's jig fishing. It's this guy right here. It is a hair jig. And really it is kind of, I don't know if it's dumb because it's old school or if it's just, it's just dumb, but it is dumb. But it catches freaking giants, dude. And I'm gonna take you out on Lake Gunnersville and show you with Swimsuit Girl, kind of one of those days when a hair jig like triggered this school and it, it, it was freaking cool. I'm gonna show you how to fish it, tell you a few tips about fishing it, why it works. And uh, I hope you come along with me and enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you don't do it for me, do it for... Wow, wow, wow. Let's look at bikinis and go catch some bass. How about it? We are about to smoke days. You know what I'm saying? Smoke days. I think we're about to have some fun, boys. Oh dear, what have I done? This might be a big, guys. Oh yeah, oh dear, oh dear. On the old hairster. Oh dear. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You gotta be quiet. God, that's, that's a gunner. Oh my God, did he eat that hair jig, boy. He ain't coming off, homie. He ain't coming off, cause that's my hair jig you got in your mouth. Guys, look at that, and look how she choked that hair jig, that's my JTK hair jig. I love that thing, dude. Ah, uh, boo, Mike. Mike, you're canceled, bro. You snagged a white bass. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You're better than that. You're better than that. I don't wind up, though. that time this hair jig is so much fun to fish dude as they go like as it goes down they just they annihilate it <laughs> it's awesome i mean like i had four bites before this guy actually ate it and dude when they eat it when they're on this deal like they're on it like choking it dude like look at this joker look at that yeah yeah she she ate it and there were there were three other ones that said, I want to eat that too. Can I have that? So how do you fish this thing? I've showed you guys quite a few ways to fish this. I'm going to show you a little different way. So you want to make a long cast schools like right over there. And it's really key. You got to let out some line and get it to the bottom. I'm using a five eighths ounce hair jig right here. So sometimes you can't really tell if it's at the bottom. One thing I do, and you're never going to be able to see it with the GoPro is look if your line is still creating small ripples in the water. And once that stops, you're on the bottom. So it's not doing it anymore. So there's two ways I'm fishing it right now. One, I'm making a few slow reels like this. I got a high speed reel right here, a seven to one. And then I'm letting it pendulum down on that, like not taut line, but not slack line. And there I go. I might do it a little faster here and there. The other way that I'm doing it is I'll point the rod straight at the, the bait and I'm gonna reel like three or four times, kind of quick, not super quick, but then I might give it a few slow reels and once again, pendling to the bottom on a semi-taut line, a couple reels, and your bites 90% of the time are gonna come on the fall 
or when you're actually reeling. They'll kind of like react to it as it comes up and your rod will just load up. It, it, what happens a lot with a hair jig is you get straight lined, especially fishing it like this. They'll just grab it and everything will go taut. That's why you got to kind of have a, oh, just like that one, um, a semi-soft rod to kind of take that impact. I got 12 pound fluorocarbon on here. Um, I want to go heavier than that and I want to go lighter than that. It gets a little bit scary. But, you know, just mix up how fast you're going and the cadence, how many reels, and it all plays too. These fish are about four or five feet off the bottom, so I am keeping the bait up a little higher. If I was on like a, like a crazy current ledge where it's kicking, I'd probably be using a three quarter ounce and I'd probably be pointing it and maybe making two quick reels or one reel and just letting it stay more towards the bottom. Whoa. Whoa. Oh dear, yeah, turn it on. Oh my God. Oh God. Dude, just stopped it. That's like a six, seven pounder. Oh, stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> my homies, can you say, look at the mouth. Big bass, big bass, dude, <laughs> look at that thing. I love me some absolute hair jig. Dude, look at that stud. She might have been just spawning too. Dude, we gotta get her back. That is awesome, but during summer, you gotta get them back quick because they get beat up. But oh my God, did she stop it. Oh, dude, see. <laughs> so good, awesome. Oh, that is so cool. You know, guys, let me throw this at you too. I hate to do like a hapless, like talk about product or something like that, but it did make a difference. I've been playing around with my hair jig equipment because that I, I usually use like a crankbait rod and I like it a lot, but I'm missing a lot of fish because I'm it, it's just a little too floppy. I might need to go, it's a medium action seven foot that I've been using, but I tried, I'm playing with, this is a, Halo XD Pro, but it's a 7.3 medium, but it's your standard like graphite rod. And it's a little bit longer. It is a hair stiffer, which I'm not a super duper fan of, but it has a little bit of a moderate taper. And I'll tell you what, if I would have had that jerker on that, that crankbait rod, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Like I could kind of control her with this rod, but it's just soft enough where like I can work that hair jig because it is a very subtle kind of nuanced like pattern or like technique, I guess you call it. But dude. She had some beef beer in <laughs> That was so cool. Picked up the crankbait after all of that hair jigging on the ground. We're gonna call a big one. We refired, boys. Look how fat that joker is. That's what I love about these gunners little fish is I put a hook through my deal. It's how fat they are. Nice job, man. Keep up the good work. Say, I'll crank your baiter came through. Dude, that's another like five, five and change. Let's get her back real quick though. I don't want to keep him on the water long. Come on over here and I'll get the release. Oh, right by the bait you just ate. Don't eat that again. Bad idea, unless it's mine. I can't move my arm. <laughs> that was probably one of the most awesome days I've ever had on Gunnersville. Like, absolutely stupid. And you know how I know it was that good? A swimsuit model has her top off. Yes! We smashed days. We smashed days.
dude, we, we lit them up. And doing two things I absolutely loved. This guy right here, crush, six cents, burning. Trying to break, I can't break this fishing rod. They don't make it anymore. It's like my favorite cranking rod. So I, trying to break your rod, trying to break your freaking like crankbait, just dr like digging trenches in the bottom. The other guy that we got to talk about, and it's on my new rod. Um, I like the rod. I wish it was a little bit softer, but it's a 7.3 XD3 Pro Medium. A um, little more like moderate taper to it, and I'm liking it for the hair jig. I got the SLX on there with 12 pound fluorocarbon. It's a 7.2.1. I gotta buy some more of these, dude. I hope Tucker Warehouse gets some more in. But um, JTK hair jig. I absolutely love this hair jig, dude. Um, I was using a 5 ace. Um, I would go to a 3 quarter if I was fishing something, you know, with more current or maybe over 20, 25 feet. But the whole trick was is just those retrieves, and we walked through some of them, you know, the point rod tree retrieve, the, the up with the rod retrieve to get the bait a little bit higher. But there's something about this hair jig that when they're on it, they just smoke it, dude. Like, absolutely inhale it. And, and it's a fun way to fish and it's a single hook and in a way it's kind of like finesse power fishing i think that's what i like so much about it you got to figure out the nuance of the retrieve and then once you got it dude they, they kill it like it, it's such a fun bite you'll feel them like tick 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 on the way down then finally boom, and they'll just swim off with it dude and you you set back with it with your rod and it just bends over it's dumb i like it try it you'll like it too drop a little comment for swimsuit model tell her how good she was she helped do a lot of the camera work today bog i will tell him hello he is locked in the house because it's 90 freaking degrees outside but thank you guys for watching your support for this channel has made it blow up dude i actually never thought it would be like this which is kind of cool it, it's a passion project of mine i love making the videos i'm no pro i don't know what the hell i'm doing half the time but i like learning and going through the process and highlighting the process for you guys and i really appreciate all the good and positive feedback that you give me for the videos and that but we will see you next time back out on the water or maybe from the bass cave hopefully with a little eye candy like that because you never have a bad day with eye candy like that but tight lines boys we're out Thank you.